So welcome to my latest module overview video. This time it's the Erica Polyvox voltage controlled filter. The module is available as a PCB and panel with the original Russian chips as well. I know some people have asked and been sent a full kit and you could maybe even grab a fully assembled module but you'd have to get in touch with Erica and ask about that. The build in the module is based around a DIY thread on Muff Wiggler which is linked in the video description. The filter has low pass and band pass mode selected by a switch but some people have removed the switch and added a second output so you've got one for each filter type. There's an input knob which affects the tone of the filter as it can really drive and add harmonics to the sound, frequency knob and resonance, the resonance can self oscillate and we've got two CV inputs both with attenuators. So let's get stuck in. So I'm going to start by looking at how the filter responds to a simple saw wave input. It's a saw wave coming from my live wire AFG which is going straight into the filter and then I'm going straight out into an attenuator just to drop the level before going into my sound card. As the filter responds to different input levels I'm going to sweep the filter with the input at around 3 o'clock and then I'm going to sweep it with the input up full. I'll progressively move the resonance from 0 to around 9 o'clock then to 12 o'clock and then to 3 o'clock. <laughs> So now we're going to do exactly the same thing, changing the input level and resonance, but in bandpass mode this time. Wow. 
So to show how it responds to different sounds, I'm going to take a square wave as the input now. And turning the input up, we can hear there's a more obvious fizz and clipping that isn't present when the input gain is lower. Going on to a sine wave now and the input level's down and we don't have any extra harmonics in that sine wave for the filter to effect. But with the input up full you can hear this crunch that's been added around the resonance and cut off point which has been added to the square and saw but not quite as obvious. So now we'll look at the CV inputs. I'm taking a sine wave LFO from a bubble sound ULFO and that's going into CV input 1. As before it cleans up nicely when we drop the input level. So here's bandpass mode. And adding in a second CV, here's a pulse wave from the same LFO. Having two CV inputs with attenuators, we can get some nice shapes by mixing both a sine wave and a pulse wave into the two CV inputs. So going to audio rate modulation now, I've got a sine wave LFO in CV input 1 still and we're going to play around with that rate to show how it responds. Responds well in bandpass mode too. Pretty mad sounds there, but I'll drop the sine wave CV input and then turn up the pulse wave modulation. So sticking with CV response to the filter, I'm going to look at how it responds to different envelopes. I've got a mix of a square, sub, saw and pulse wave coming from the AFG, going into a mixer, then into the Erica Polyvox filter. The resonance is around 9 o'clock and the frequency is all the way to the left and the CV levels up full. I'm using the WMD multi-mode envelope and the knob on the right when it's all the way to the left is logarithmic, linear in the middle and exponential to the right. And the top left knob is the attack and the decay is the one just underneath that. I'll manually trigger the gate button and then change the envelope settings to show how the filter responds. And we can get some really nice tight short clicks and pops out of the filter, it responds really fast.
So sticking with how the filter responds to different envelopes, I'm going to trigger the envelope of a clock and get some pulsing bass sounds. The frequency is all the way down on the filter and the resonance is now at 12 o'clock. I manually adjust the envelope to show the different responses. So here's an acid style patch, I've got a saw wave going in and then the black cable going into the CV1 is a dope for envelope and the yellow stackable is a clocked LFO running in time with the sequence that's triggering the envelope and the pitch sequence going to the oscillator. So here's the sound we've got coming in. So I'm turning up the LFO on CV input 2. Then add in the envelope. So then I'll play around with the CV level envelopes and filter. So the filter pairs really nicely with distortion, so I'm going to run the filter out into the RYO Optodist. So for VCA for some amp modulation, glide on the pitch sequence and distortion pre and post filter, we could get into some really nasty acid territory. So now we'll look at making some percussive sound and kicks. The resonance is up full and it's going out into an IntelliGel UVCA. I've got a clock triggering the dot for quad ADSR going into a VCA for some simple amp modulation. And I've also got an envelope going up into the filter CV inputs. So we can get some nice Tom style hits without any modulation. Changing the top envelope, we can get some nicely varied response on the cutoff modulation. And what works well for kicks is getting a slightly longer envelope and attenuating that slightly less than you'd want and then adding in a really short envelope to create a click. And with a Polyvox by Erica we can mix the two and with attenuators get a nice mix of clicky transients and a slightly longer envelope for the percussion. And dropping the frequency takes us down into kick drum range. So here's using the filter to create a fairly simple done general baseline sound just to show that the filter can do some smoother sounds. I've got a sequence running which is triggering an envelope and then that's going into the CV input on the filter. And with just a little bit of envelope modulation we can get some nice cool old school sort of retro electro bass lines. So this patch is looking at some digital wave tables. I've got a formant vowel waveform coming from Braids, an E350 wave table and a square sub from an AFG all be mixed together then going into the Erica Polyvox filter. I've then got a synced LFO sending modulation to the Braids and the E350 and that's also going into CV input one on the Erica. So here's the input sound. So I'll now change the LFO wave to a sample and hold and add in some more resonance. So 
So it's really easy to get some cool chirps and really fraughty resonance out of the Polyvox filter. So for this last patch I'm going to use the filter to filter some drum loops. I've got some drum loops coming straight out of the computer which are being bumped up to modular levels through the Animodule Tranny module. I'm going to manually wiggle the cut off and move the resonance and I've also got a Tempo Sync Tele 4 running in time with the loops which is going to the CV input on the filler. So I'll have a play around and show how that responds. <laughs> As always, I hope you've liked the video. If you've got any questions about this specific video or anything else you've seen in my setup, let me know and I'll do my best to answer questions and possibly make some follow-up videos for anything specific. Subscribe to this channel for more coming soon, including more synth jams, some multi-track modular EWE big band videos, some patch ideas and also overviews for the Blue Lantern Mr. Blue, Animodule Logic Ogic, Erica Parametric Moog EQ and the Frequency Central Ultra Wave and more.